Hello everyone, so welcome to my YouTube channel and today topic is inter networking devices. Basically, there are four to five inter networking devices in a core networking first of all hub, bridge, switch or router or wireless access point. So these are some inter networking devices that we are going to discuss now. Okay. Now, if I talk about a hub, hub is a dumb device. Hub is called a dumb device and it is a layer one device which doesn't have any memory. Okay. It works on physical layer. First of all, on physical layer, you already know that all the data will be forwarded in the form of bits. Okay. And it is also a plug and play device. You don't, you don't have to manually up any single interface. Okay. And there can be two, four or six interface over there. And it is a half duplex device. That is means multiple PCs cannot forward the data at the same time. And it operates in single broadcast domain. That is means every time this device to the broadcast. If I talk about uh, a real time, a bridge look like this. And in Cisco packet tracer, this is symbol for the hub. Okay. Now. What is the meaning of always do the broadcast? Okay, let us assume this PC is our source. Want to forward a data to the destination, a hello packet to the destination. But what is happened when the packet will be forwarded to the hub? Hub will forward this packet to every single PC in the network. This is the main issue with hub. The destination will reply on that packet. That reply will also be forwarded to everyone in the network. So this is a big issue. Every single person in the network will got the same message every time. What is the meaning of collision? If two devices forwarding the data at the same time, let us assume this PC and this PC has forwarded the data at the same time. What is happened that the hub will be stuck and no data flow will be there for now. Okay. Let's do this practically. Okay. So dear all, this is our hub and let us assume it is connected with four different devices. One, two, three and four. Okay. And these are connected via a cable like this. You can see that whenever I will just connect, it will boot up within a, within a microsecond. Okay. Let us assume the PC has an IP address 192.168.10.1, 192.168.10.2, 192.168.10.3, 192.168.10.4. Okay. Let me provide this IP address to these PCs. Okay. So what will happen when I will forward a ping packet that is called an ICMP signal to check the connectivity between the two PCs. So let us assume this PC has an IP address like this and we have just provided the IP address to the PCs. I just want to verify the connectivity in between these two PCs by forwarding an ICMP packet. So I will check the connectivity in between these two. So this is our source and this is our destination. Okay. Let me try to forward a packet and before that I will click on simulation. By that we can also capture the packet forwarding in the Cisco packet tracer. Okay, so I will go to this PC again and put a command ping 192.168.10.2 and whenever I will press enter you can see an ICMP packet is generated and also an ARP packet will be generated and as an address resolution protocol packet will be generated to got the MAC address of the destination because Without MAC address, you cannot forward any data. So before forwarding the ICMP or ping message, an ARP message will be automatically generated. Now let's see what will happen. This packet will be forwarded to the hub, but hub will do broadcast to everyone. Right now, others will reject this packet was generated specially for this PC 192.168.10.2. Before forwarding the packet, let me see the ARP has some information like source MAC address, source IP address, destination IP address, but that doesn't have destination MAC address. That is why it is generated before the ICMP packet because in a layer two or layer one communication, we need the MAC address. So this packet will be forwarded. The packet will be broadcasted. So the destination will receive the packet. Now what has to be done? 
this PC know who is the destination, who is the source. So the packet must be forwarded like this. <clears throat> but what will happen that it is a property of the hub to broadcast the packet every time. Now it is not necessary to forward the, these packet uh, to these two PCs. But it, it, it is still forwarding that because hub has a, has a property to broadcast every single packet. So that is what the big issue with the hub is that all the data will be broadcasted every time. So that is why we have designed a more better device. That was a somehow a smart device than this one. And that device is known as a bridge. Okay. Now, what is a bridge? Basically, a bridge is a layer two device. It works on data link layer. If I talk about a hub, hub is a layer one device that works on physical layer. Now, as it working on data link layer, you already know that all the data forwarded in data link layer will be in form of data frame, right? And it will learn the MAC address and also form a MAC address table, right? It is a plug and play device. It has a single broadcast domain. That is means it will do broadcast only one time and it has per port collision. That is means this is a full duplex device. It can forward the data. Multiple device can forward the data at multiple times. But the major issue with that is, is that it is only having only two port, but it is a full duplex device. So all the issues solved with this bridge. Now a bridge maintain the MAC address table. How? Let us assume the PC has a MAC address 0003 and so on. So it will create a table and put these MAC address with their interfaces. Like this interface is, face is connected to the PC which has this MAC address. And this is another PC that is connected to this port. And this port has a PC which has this MAC address. So the bridge maintain the MAC address table on the behalf of MAC address and interface connected to that. That is why there is no broadcast in that. But the major issue with the hub, uh, with the bridge is that there is only two port to forward the data. And in a smart network, we cannot use this bridge. So this is the main issue. And the bridge is a full duplex device. That is means multiple data can be forwarded at multiple times. Okay. So this simultaneously I can send or receive the data through the bridge. So let's check the working of the bridge, how the bridge works. Okay. So here you will find a bridge. So just click on switch here. This is a bridge. Okay. This is a PC. Here is one more PC and let us zoom one more PC is here. So what will happen? Let me connect these via cable. But the problem is that it is a, it is only having two ports. It is a smart device, but doesn't have any additional ports. This is the main issue with the bridge, but the bridge maintain the Mac address table. So every time it will not do broadcast. Next internet networking device is what a switch. So switch is another device. Dear switch is a smart device. Basically. It can send or receive the data in form of frame, but it has multiple ports. You can see that there are 40 port, 48 ports available in this switch, right? It also maintain the Mac address table and the aging time of the Mac address table is what 300 seconds. It can work on both GLI as well as well as CLI as well as GUI mode. It has single broadcast domain that is means broadcast will be done on one time. It has per port collision that means it's not pos possible to collide or it is full duplex device. Number of ports are 16, 24, 32 or 48. So there are there are huge number of ports are available here. Okay. Now let's check the working of this. So dear, there are number of type of cable and ports available in the switch. When you will work over the switch, you will find that these, there are Ethernet link, fast Ethernet port, 
gigabit port and serial port that is connected with the cable has a speed of 10 mbps 100 mbps 1 gp mbps and 1.54 mbps so these are the speed of the links and the short form for these uh, in uh, these ports are eth for the ethernet ports fast ethernet port is fa gig port is is gigabyte serial port is se okay if you want to select these interfaces from the from the configuration you have to put the command interface ets 0 slash 0 fa 0 slash 0 gig 0 slash 0 and se 0 slash 1 and whatever is that okay so this is how you can select the interfaces so dear all these are the type of switches this is catalyst 2960 here you can see two gigabit port are available and 24 ports are available for 100 mbps fast ethernet okay what is the speed of this is fast ethernet 100 mbps only if i talk about this one this one is fully layer 2 device this is catalyst 2950 it has 24 ports and no external gigabit port is available here now if i talk about last one this is a layer 3 device which has four gigabit port in which two ports are for the poe and two ports are sfp there these are called gigabit port by the help of this sfp module we can connect the gigabit cable okay we can connect the for, uh, we can connect the gigabit ethernet over there okay now like the bridge maintains the mac address table the switches also maintain the mac address table so <clears throat> this is there are four ports available uh, there are four pc connected with four different port of the switch this is fa0 slash fa1 slash 1 this is fa2 slash 1 fa3 slash 1 and fa0 slash 1 four interface are available here so this fa0 slash 1 is connected to a pc which has a mac address of 0000, 0, 0, 0 that is means this one so on the behalf of interfaces the switch maintains the mac address table what on the behalf of there is interface fa0 slash 1 and the mac address of the pc connected to this port is what 0000, 0, 0, 0. here is available on the mac address table you can find the entries okay mac address with the port connected so all the mac address are available here with the connected ports this is f is 3 slash 0 3 slash 1 1 slash 1 and 2 slash 1 and whatever is that okay now if i talk about the command used for the for the for checking the mac address table is show mac address table this is the entry to check the mac address table okay now let's do the practical uh, for this bridge uh, for the switch okay let's do the practical for the switch so dear all let us assume this is a switch and this is connected with multiple pcs one two three and four okay and they're connected with a fast ethernet cable fa0 slash 1 fa0 slash 2 fa0 slash 3 and fa0 slash 4 four different interfaces are connected with that okay now let us assume they have different different ip address 192.168 192.168.10.1 192.168 okay 192.168.10.2 192.168.10.3 192.168.10.4 okay first of all i will input the ip address okay so 192 192.168.10.1 192.168.10.2 192.168.10.3 and 192.168.10.4 so these are the four ip address provided to all of these four pcs okay now i will go to the switch and check the mac address entries so go to cli mode put a command enable and 
शो मैक एड्रेस मैक एड्रेस टेबल यू कैन सी द मैक एड्रेस इज अवेलेबल इन द एंट्रीज ओके सो इन मैक एड्रेस टेबल यू विल फाइंड द एंट्रीज ऑफ द मैक एड्रेस ऑल ऑफ दी फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज पीसीज so after providing the ip address we will find the mac address over here okay now if i want to forward the data in between two devices like this one and this one i want to forward the data in between these two or i want to check the connectivity in between these two so this is my source and this is my destination what destination i just want to forward to check the connectivity in between them so i can only forward an icmp packet in between these two so i will go to command prompt in the pc and put a command ping 192.168.10.3 okay here we will also track the packet forwarding okay so so whenever i will put enter what will happen before forwarding the ping message before checking the connectivity it will generate a uh, an arp packet this is arp message why it is generated because this pc don't know what is the mac address of this pc because the layer 2 communication done on the basis of mac address but this pc don't know what is the mac address of the destination that is why before forwarding the icmp it will automatically generate the ping the arp packet you can see source mac is available here source ip available here target ip available here but doesn't have target mac address so to find the target mac address this arp packet will be automatically generated this one is generated because of what to find the mac address of the destination okay now the packet will be forwarded to the switch but switch will do broadcast only for first time okay now we got the source and destination mac address this is source uh, source mac address and this is destination mac address now we got both of these details now this packet will get back to the source again from the destination by taking the mac address now the icmp packet can be forwarded in between these two so you can see that the communication is successful that is means switch do broadcast only for the first time and again for the next time switch doesn't do the broadcast so this is a smarter device has a memory if i will go to the uh, the switch and put a command show mac address table you can see that mac address are available here and here because of aging time of the mac address is 500 seconds so after 500 second we can't see what was the mac address so again it will it can forward the same packet okay so that is how a switch works okay and switch has number of ports here we only have connected four pcs but you can connect more number of pc with that okay so that's all about the internet working devices so wait uh, please wait for the next class and have a nice day i will soon upload the next okay